This week is going to be an opportunity to meet all the fine men and women who serve our country. And we have an opportunity to go to various military bases and explore the different equipment, the different technology, the different levels and ranks throughout the military. And so having the opportunity to experience a little bit more than just what you see on Discovery Channel is pretty appealing. I'm looking to see really what uh, the military personnel go through and really how advanced the military is in developing uh, the armed force personnel because I know that they have a lot of a lot of technology, logistics, as well as intelligence. So I'm interested to see how they're uh, educating uh, our armed forces and preparing and keeping the U.S. safe. I think the the personality side of this, the the individual sailor, soldier, airman, marine, coast guardsman, that, that that's what I'm the most interested in. It gives you hope for the future to see these great young men and women taking these incredible jobs and these, uh, these vast responsibilities and really making them their own. I think really what I'd like to see them walk away is a great appreciation for uh, the individual that serves. When they raise their right hand and they swear the oath, uh, for them to truly understand that individual and the sacrifices that he or she makes for our country. I hope that they walk away with a better understanding of our military, an understanding that we have the best, brightest, most lethal force in the history of the world. And I hope they're inspired to go back to their communities and tell that story and specifically continue the conversation with hashtag know your mail. The most impressive thing today was really seeing and spending time with the individual people who are boots on the ground. It, it, it is the most special part of this event to all of us from JCOC. And I know I speak on behalf of everyone here at JCOC. I just thank you for your service. To every one of us from the JCOC is grateful for all of you who have not only served, but have lost dear family and friends to protect us, our children, and our future generations. So as we look at our journey, each one of us are amazed during this week at the great work that you do for our country, how you serve us. This has been the best action adventure experience we have ever seen. And I definitely want to say that it definitely helps me and everyone else to take our outside perspective and see how can we help our military. And we want to thank you for helping us understand things like get the wet stuff on the red stuff, to make sure that we um, see how we equip a F-16, to making sure that we have these memories we'll never forget. such a deep appreciation for what this effort turns into in terms of serving our country. It's, it's, I don't know the words. What a day! What a day! All of these wonderful people are keeping us safe. On the water, in the air, probably in outer space, but they didn't tell us. No. Samper Paratus, always ready. That's who the Coast Guard is. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
today's experience of, of stepping onto those yellow footprints. And if my wife could have seen that, she would have been sending me back for more training. So I couldn't be prouder of being an American, having this experience, and, and we thank you. We thank you, our families thank you for protecting us. We thank you, we thank your families, and, and this broader family, all the services. You know, thank you for your service. Thank you so much for putting your life on the line. Whether it's overseas or here domestically, it has absolutely been just an honor to be one of those folks that is protected and, and sleeps well at night. I really appreciate that, and I know I speak on behalf of my entire family, everyone here at JCOC. It has been an absolute honor, and I thank you not only for today, but for years to come.